Hi there, everybody. It's uh, John Tantillo, a.k.a. JT. And it is, uh, what day is it? It is uh, Sunday, uh, the 7th of March, uh, the day after my COVID-2 shot. And um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a little tired. As we say in Italian, I'm a little mental stunad. And uh, excuse my Sicilian. And um, I'm a little tired. And my arm is just a teeny bit sore. But uh, things are uh, going well. I am uh, broadcasting from um, my uh, extended stay facility. And um, um, one of the things I mentioned, and uh, all of my friends uh, tell me that I touch my nose too much. Well, when you're on as much medication as I'm on, uh, you touch your nose a lot because it's itching, it's draining, it's all of this. And uh, from a medical standpoint, my blood sugar is well, my heart is well, all of those things that everyone screams about, it's, uh, it's just wonderful. So uh, anyway, and you would think I'm in New York City because I have my green screen and uh, Willie was barking at me, I should take uh, some picture, I should take a video of the room that I'm in, uh, you, you, you know, all these people uh, want me to do these, these things. Uh, I'm a guy uh, with limited um, agility. Uh, so I don't, I don't do all of these things all that well. So um, anyway, um, what can I tell you? Um, but um, I, I look, I, I shouldn't recommend people get anything because I'm going to get in trouble if, if I recommend stuff. Uh, for me, I'm a vaccine. I get flu shots. My mother never did. She believed her mother, uh, Mary, uh, uh, used to get the flu every time she got it. So look, I, 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 get, I get it. But for me, being that I'm a diabetic, and I have a heart condition, I had to get it. <laughs> so, I mean, there you go. But I can understand people not wanting it. So with that said, um, uh, the whole idea of this, there, there is an ulterior motive. It's um, um, uh, to be really honest about it. Um, the motive is that I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see. I don't know whether or not I can do this with this phone. Let's see if I could uh, do this with the phone. Um, all right, let's go. Um, all right, what's on your mind? And I want to go live video. And um, okay. So let's see if this is going to go. Okay, so I don't know whether or not it's um, how this is working, but you can see it's the green screen. And when you look at it, on on um, on Streamyard, you can see my background. Okay, maybe you can't, and that's that's the light that I'm using. So that's the whole the whole thing, and you can see the green screen, and um, that that's the back of the room. But the green screen hides a multitude of uh, sins and um, anyway so there you go Michael Tantillo senior is watching oh how are you cousin Michael very good 
very good. I met your son, and I know your wonderful daughter, <laughs> uh, Jennifer. So uh, there you have it. Uh, so um, what can I tell you? So one of the things I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this one down, but you can get an idea of what well, that's the closet right next to me. But it, I mean, you wouldn't know uh, we're in the room here. Uh, you would think that I'm in I'm in the studio, right? And there's Colleen Carroll now. Hello, John. Hello, Colleen. 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 Not Colleen. I, that's my. Uh, dear friend Colleen Kelly, I, I'm saying, but it's Colleen. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to shut this down, the, the iPhone one. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. So I just did that, and I'll share that. And um, what I, what I went, really want to do is to talk about this, this, uh, this YouTube channel about personal branding. And um, in, in teaching the course uh, at Toro College, one of the things do, one of Okay, it goes on and off. I'm getting. Um, it's what you call a brand is. Into three to five words. You you describe your personal brand or said another way to remember you by. Get this, Jim Metzger and uh, uh, going on and off. Um, they used to say with Tantillo, you laugh and learn. So Tantillo, you laugh and learn. The thing they say is not only do you laugh and learn, uh, you um, uh, he uh, teaches you in a funny way, or you learn through um, So what you have to do is to come up with what we say is a de description of your personal brand in three to five words. That's the first step. And the whole idea there is to edit. Am I going to provide those that I interact with? So if it's a job, okay, if I'm on a job interview, what, why should they in fact hire you? You're going to hire is it's going, you're going to make their job easier. So John Tant you have to decide what to buy. What is the benefit? As I I it's all about benefits. All right. And as we used to say in politics, it's not what have you done for me, it's what have you done for me lately which dovetails this concept of A, B, 
what you must always do there is that you must always what it is, what is your benefit, and what are you doing for your customers. So that's about it. Um, I am. Uh, I just wanted to to uh, get this started, and I'm a little uh, concerned. The stream is not is not strong enough, or the the I shouldn't say the stream. It a little bit with the good folks. So anyway. Um, uh subscribe to my uh channel my john cantillo jp marketing doctor youtube channel that would be good uh oh and let me read what uh colleen uh, colleen is saying colleen you look amazing oh my god she makes me happy and and there's oh, and then there's Rand Randy Chankin, who's the president of my fan club. She says, and of course she uh, she is because she always has such wonderful things to say. So um, anyway, so I'm gonna leave um, I'm gonna leave this for now, and I hope you uh, enjoyed what I just said, and come up. I guess your assignment would be what is come up with a brand mantra, which is three to five word description on who you are and the benefit that people get by knowing you. And as I always say, go branch yourself. This is Dr. John Cantillo, the marketing doctor, reminding you to do that. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I have class. And then um, what's interesting is I'm in Arizona now. It's going to be getting up to the 80s. But um, uh, it's the average, uh, the range in temperature in March is 80 to 56. Okay. And uh, next Sunday at 2 a.m., which is Saturday night, right? But 2 a.m., we go to Pacific time because the good folks in Arizona do not believe in daylight saving. And what they do is they um, go to Pacific time, and right now we're on mountain time. So um, everything will start uh, an hour earlier but that's great because when I'm teaching, you know, I teach from uh, six o'clock to 1030. Um, um, Eastern time. So what that's going to mean next week, next Monday, it's going to be three o'clock till seven o'clock or 730. Isn't that great? So that's that's the advantage. So, okay, TTFN, ta-ta for now. It's been fun. That is much, much fun.